Is a currency war the next front in the US-China trade war? Well, that's what some investors fear after China allowed the yuan to drop to its lowest level in a decade. For the first time since the financial crisis, the yuan slid past the symbolically important level of 7-1 to the dollar. And the Trump administration responded, labeling China a currency manipulator. Now, although that's a largely symbolic move, the designation dramatically escalates trade tensions between the world's two largest economies. China, for its part, says it's not manipulating its currency. The country's central bank says trade protectionism and fresh tariffs have led to a fall in the value of many global currencies, and that's also meant pressure on their currency, the yuan. But unlike the United States and other developed nations, China has far more control over the value of its currency. It sets a rate every single day, and the currency is only allowed to move 2% up or 2% down from that point. China's also said it won't engage in competitive devaluations, quote, to deal with the trade dispute, but it is one way China can retaliate against President Trump's tariffs on its goods. Weakening the currency makes China's exports cheaper, and that blunts the impact of tariffs. That's what the Trump administration insists China's up to here. But many analysts question that. They point out that China has spent billions of dollars buying its own currency to prevent it falling too much. And as the Chinese central bank said, weakened growth has caused some of the other regional currencies to lose value versus the dollar since the trade war began. So it's kind of reasonable to suggest that the fall in the Chinese yuan could reflect the currency simply readjusting to the dollar's recent strength. But the big fear here is that it starts a deliberate currency war. What if the Trump administration tries to hit back by devaluing the US dollar. There have been mixed signals from the president about whether he would ever intervene like that. I could do that in two seconds if I want. I mean, Why did you not want to do it? Well, I didn't say I I'm not going to do something. The key here is weakening the greenback would have serious risks. Not only the fact that it would mean less purchasing power for all Americans, and that would have repercussions across the entire global economy.